Watches with the letters S and D, as in I can S my own. Bro, I don't know what that was. I'm going to be honest. That was possibly <laughs> the least funniest thing I've seen in a very long time. And it's like, if you genuinely think that that's like, come, bro, that is worse than women comedy, not to be sexist or anything. <laughs> that, But that was terrible, bro. Like, that was terrible. Like, I don't care what the misinformation was they, they spewed, because it's obviously the horror stuff, whatever. But just from a comedy level, like, bro, what? <laughs> Y'all put that out there? Like, that is, come on, bro. Eric, dumb or evil? Uh, well, it's evil. It's obviously evil. <laughs> um, they, so, and because what, it was last week where they did a silly skit, uh, or I say silly as a, as if it's funny, it's not funny, a stupid skit, an evil skit, I guess, about um, abortion, right? Where they, they had the woman dressed up as a clown, and uh, she was she was giving all these, you know, vaguely, vague this vague like monologue about how basically abortion is a great thing and so you fast forward one week and now they're they're back on this this horse pace thing so they do they they pick something somebody i don't know it used to be what lauren michaels or whatever i don't know who it is over there now but whoever Still it is him. now okay so they're they're in my humble opinion they are still picking something every week or, or picking a person or a thing, whatever it is, they, they threw Ted Cruz in there, which was stupid. I mean, um, and, and they, they try to, they, they, they villainize it. And unfortunately right now they are, they're still running on these fumes from like the early nineties or late eighties or whenever the last time the show was funny and they're still, they're still rolling on that. So this, this might be something that again, now I love my family, but this is like something that they might buy into because they're, they they took the mask off when Fauci said you could take it off and then put it right back on because they can't see through this stuff and it's it's really sad that these it, it's it's very similar in the in the way that that we have these eighty year old people calling the shots running on fumes from when they had control of the narrative between three networks and now everybody has the internet and they try to stop that and everybody has YouTube and they try to stop that and Twitter they want to stop it all but they're still just these last this these are like the death throes of their <laughs> and 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 there's obviously guys like bryson uh who who are w without even trying basically without even without the whole machine without without millions of dollars worth of fun i don't know maybe maybe bryson does have millions of dollars worth of fun i don't know but w without the the power From dan of the machine, crenshaw with <laughs> the one eye rhino um without the power of a machine their power is 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 dwindling and this is this is what it looks like when when they're trying to maintain it and you see it obviously with uh who was it was it colbert or whatever that did the the whole like the literal song mm -hmm. and dance with the women dressed up as syringes and so long story short yes this is not stupid it is evil and it is them trying to maintain what tiny little bit of influence that they they that they still have